Well, what an absolutely stunning morning here at Beachmere in Queensland, Australia. I've got the Canon R5 and I've teamed it up uh, with an adapted Canon 100 to 400 millimeter USM2 lens. And I'm gonna be doing some bird photography this morning. So blessed to be in such a beautiful spot. But we've got a high tide, the tide's going out. And what I'm doing is I'm following the birds because they're starting to feed on the lower tide. So far I've had like a kite come down, land on this sandbar and also some seagulls as well. But I'm gonna make my way along the front here. You're not gonna believe this, I've got an osprey and a kite. I'm just gonna drop the um, ISO, sorry, the shutter speed down to about a thousand. have this amazing osprey just sitting right here and I could get right in close and um, just absolutely stunning unfortunately I was just getting some b-roll for you guys with the um, Canon R5 and it just flew off I really wanted to get some shots of it taking off but there is another spot down here um, and I'll go down there a bit later on and I'm sure I'll get them flying around that area because they've got a nest down there All the birds of prey are out now feeding on this lower thing. I'm actually just keep my eyes on this kite over here. I'm just gonna track it. This kite out is it's just gonna go for a dive. I'm just gonna try and track it as it goes down in the water. This is awesome. This is a beautiful thing about the tide going out. The bigger birds of prey, I've seen two osprey here. And um, this kite was looping right around here. And bang, hit the water. And I'm pretty sure I've got a shot where it's come up with something. I just got this little rainbow lorikeet and he's sitting right there having a chat to me. And the Canon R5, it's just sitting right on top of his eye too. Okay, so this Osprey has just landed on this um, tall type of dead tree. I'm just gonna go down and see if I can get some shots. So the wind has picked up a little bit here and um, I had a nice beautiful sheet of glass before but now the water's become a little bit more rough. But already I'm pretty happy with the Canon R5 in terms of what it can capture, even with an adapted lens like the 100 to 400. You know, having that 45 megapixel sensor, look, I may not be getting the ideal frames that I'm after, but you know, having that ability to be able to crop in is just invaluable to me. This is why I need these high megapixel sensor cameras. Because if you don't have something like a 600 or an 800 mil lens, at least you can crop in on these 400 mil shots. I was just tracking this seagull here in the water and it got a little bit spooked and it took off. But, um, Luckily I had the camera all poised and ready and it was amazing watching the Canon R5 because as it was swooping around you could see that the little blue box went over its eye and I just fired away and just the sharpness I'm just looking in the viewfinder now oh, sorry I'm just looking at the back LCD screen now and the sharpness is just oh, amazing I was just changing position 
quickly grabbed my bag, just slung it over one shoulder and I was moving from the beach down this way and I stumbled across this beautiful like open field amongst the mangroves and it's all covered in these little wildflowers. And it was covered in beautiful butterflies and bees. So got the Canon R5 with 100 to 400 and snapped off some shots. During the time I had the Canon R5, which was generously loaned to me by the team at Canon Australia, I was able to visit a number of bird and wildlife locations. I got so many shots that instead of turning this video into a three hour documentary, I decided to let the R5 do all the talking for me. Well guys, I'm going to wrap it up here from Beachmere in Queensland, Australia, doing some bird photography with the Canon R5. I have had so much fun with this camera this morning. The bird shots that I was able to get with it, phenomenal, absolutely brilliant. Great camera for doing bird photography. And this was the last test for the Canon R5. I've done those other shots where I was doing some general walk around shots in the Botanic Gardens in Brisbane, as well as I did that sunset. The camera performed really well on all those occasions, so very, very impressed with the Canon R5. And the thing that impresses me even more is the fact that this camera was adapted with EF lenses. I have absolutely zero doubt that if I had native RF glass, this camera would just be stellar. I have no doubt it would perform even better. But that is a tribute that you can mount your EF lenses onto this Canon R5 and still get such amazing results. Thank you so much for watching. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.